right on the fence. And there's a real defined trail coming through here. And it appears that coon are coming through this woven wire fence. On the other side, we've got beans. On this side, we've got picked corn. Why the coon are coming through here, don't ask me. Um, but that's what I found with coon and with other critters. They seem to pick a spot. And um, sometimes when the crops come out, their habits change. But in this case, um, this, this trail, I think, is still being used. And um, the coon are coming through that square in the woven wire fence there. And who knows, if, you know, they may be leaving their denning area and heading for water. There is a low area down the down the field here. Um, who knows why, but, but I found over the years that, that these pay off, and this is a lethal set. This coon is going to be dead when we get here, when we catch the coon. Um, there's no question about it. He's going to tangle in the fence, and he's going to be dead. And um, so it's like I talked about earlier at the beginning of the video. You know, always assess your surroundings when you set these. You can see how windy it is today, and I've got that snare set at maybe uh, 1 o'clock, 1.30 maybe, um, because I don't want to come to an empty snare that's been knocked down by the wind.